Hello guys and welcome to today's another video of lecture. Today we are going to see about uh, how we can build an entertainment tool in uh, Flectra. So for that we'll just first start with uh, how to add the products and for that we'll just go to website and in the product section we have the products. As of now, we don't have any of the products added over here. So to add the product, we'll just click on create. And here will be the product name. So I'll just add the product uh, name that would be Mr. Guitar. That can be sold and that can be purchased. And after that, I'll add the image of the product. So for that, I'll just go to over here and click on adding and I'll add the image of the product okay after that uh, the product type will be the storable product and then add the pricing of the product so for example I'll just add the pricing of the $200 and uh, if you have the categories defined then you can add the product category from here you can add the text if you have applied the text and then you can add the text from here then there will be if you have the, the internal reference or barcode you can add over here or you can add the internal notes after that there is the variance so if you have uh, multiple variants of the product so for example this is the guitar so if you have uh, same type of other guitars then you can add the fee in terms of the variance you can add the attributes and variance for the, the product and after that sales uh, over the sales uh, there's the invoicing policy that you want to apply for the ordered quantity or the relevant quantity and you can add the optional products and over here you can add the description of the products and from e-commerce if you are having using multiple websites you can select the websites from the e-commerce you can select the categories uh, alternative products or accessory products or if you have multiple images of the product you can add the extra images using the extra product media and the purchase and then you can use the inventory if you have applied any of the inventory of the products now after that we'll just save this product okay so it's been saved now now we'll just move to the front store and see the product let's refresh the shop page and as you can see the product is here but right now it's on unpublished stage so we can make it publish from here so it's an published so there's the image there's the name of the product and there's the pricing and we can add to cart using these options we can add the quantity and then we can add to cart so this is how we can easily add the product so after that we'll see how we can uh, add the promotions coupons and also we'll see how we can add the payment methods and shipping methods in our store so for that we'll start with uh, first with promotions uh, how we can add the promotions in our products and how we can use it so for that uh, go to the website and in product section there is the promotion programs so we have added uh, some promotions over here so let just open first that is the code for 10 percent orders let me click on edit so that is our title for the promotion so over here will apply 10% uh, discount on uh, the order on the total order and here if here I will find some conditions uh, that we can be uh, apply the condition on based on the customers on based of the products here is the quantity we can select the quantity and how much quantity we just want to uh, you know, offer that discount then there is a minimum purchase of uh, amount that how what is the minimum purchase of the amount and we can use as as in tax included or in tax excluded and promo code usage that will be automatically applied or you just want your customer to apply a code so here we have selected user code 
uh, and there is the promotion code now here we can write the promotion code that what will be your code that uh, your customer will write and then uh, they can use that uh, discount offer so here we have added a uh, code as in max 10 so that will be our code after that we can select the validity uh, first is the website that in which website if you're using multi website then in which website that you want to use then apply on first that uh, whether you just want to apply on the first order or you just want to infinite uh, want an infinite use then we can add the date what will be the start date and what will be the end date so this is our start date and that will be our end date now after that there is the rewards now first is the applicability so that is apply on the current order and the reward uh, we just want to uh, give a reward as in discount or a free product or in free shipping so here we have selected the discount now after that uh, what will be the amount we just want to give as in percentage wise or in fixed amount so you can go with the percentage wise or, or you can add the amount so here we have added the percentage and that is the 10 percent now discount apply on the whole order on cheapest product or on specific products so if you are uh, added you have added any specific products and only on that product you just want to apply the discount so that is for that we just need to select the on specific products now here we have selected the on total order also you can uh, limit on basis of the maximum discount amount set that so you can set as in maximum amount so that will be the, your max amount above that that will be no discount so we have added the conditions now let's just save this one okay and go to our front store and check this one so our promo code is max 10 so this is our front store let me go to the product and I'm adding this product I'll go to the checkout and here is the optional I have a promo code now here I can write a promo code that is max 10 and then I'll just click on apply so as I just click on apply so as you can see this is the return the 10% discount on total amount so discount has been calculated and my final amount will be $13.50 so that is how easily we can use this promotions and coupons program. Now let's just go to the back end. And here will be the coupon program. Okay, so that's uh, that would be the same, but here you will find some you know, less options of, uh, if you just compare to the uh, promotion program. If you are just uh, using on a small scale and uh, and you can use this coupon program over here now after that uh, to add the uh, payment requires and the shipping methods we just need to go and configuration so here is the option of payment requires so as you can see uh, uh, these are the default payment gateways that flex travel offer to you so anyone if you just want to use so for example it's a people so what you need to do you just need to install it and just add your credentials over here and started using it that's it so currently we have enabled the wire transfer over here so that is the payment requires and now if you just want to use any third party payment gateway apart from that that is also you can use so you just need to create and develop that one now after that there is the shipping method now what will be the shipping prices if you just want to provide a free shipping or you have any normal delivery charges so that you can set up from here so if you are providing the free delivery then you can add the shipping uh, gateway as in free delivery charges and then you can set the pricing according to that now if you are uh, charging any normal delivery charges and as we can see there is the normal delivery charges provider would be as the fixed price we can, we can select the delivery products now here also we have provided the option of free if order amount is above 
Now we can set the amount. So for example, if I just on hundred dollar, so that would be free if my order amount is above hundred dollar. So that is the functionality that uh, Fractra will be providing. Then that is the pricing. So currently the fixed price is ten dollar. We can set the destination availability and also the description. So from here we cancel this one. From the shipping methods we can establish shipping methods.